Unfortunately, Hong Kong only recognises traditional legal dependents, that's spouse and unmarried children under the age of 18, when they issue dependent visas. Consequently, de facto spouse partner family members need to be created in their circumstances. For example, will you qualify for permissions under one of the other visa categories in your own right? If not, and your partner as principal visa holder is able to demonstrate capacity to support you whilst you remain in Hong Kong, the only real option is to apply for a prolonged visitor visa. This status is what we have coined a Pippa Slippers and Pipe visa, in so much as it allows the holder to remain in Hong Kong for an extended period of time to avail sort of residency, but it doesn't provide permissions to work, join in or establish a business, or undertake a formal course of study. Unmarried children of the de facto relationship under the age of 18 will be treated as legal dependents and therefore able to secure dependent visas. When the Immigration Department are looking to provide a visa solution to where there is a de facto spouse situation, there are four key areas of consideration. The first is that the parties will have to show that uh, they are in a loving, committed relationship. And because they're going to be living together in Hong Kong, the Immigration Department will expect to see proof that there was a pre-existing cohabitation overseas before coming to Hong Kong. The Immigration Department will expect that the de facto partner who's resident in Hong Kong will have sufficient means to be able to support financially the uh, prolonged visitor visa holding spouse. Somewhat ironically, the Immigration Department expect that the parties will undertake in writing that the relationship will eventually lead to a legal marriage. Um, prolonged visitor visas in these circumstances are usually granted for a period of no more than six months and when you go through the process of extending your prolonged visitor visa you will simply have to um, submit another undertaking to the effect that your relationship to the best of your belief will eventually lead to a legal marriage. They certainly won't be asking you to get married in the next six months. And as noted, because we're only getting a prolonged visitor visa, the status that comes with a visitor visa allows residents but doesn't allow you to join in a business or take up employment. So it's very much a slippers and pipe type immigration status. The next step is for you to review the visa information document. This details each of the essential elements of a successfully argued Hong Kong visa case and contains in-context links to all of the resources needed to prepare your application. These include application templates, the online application forms, screencasts on how to complete the forms, a checklist of all the documents you need to prepare as part of the submission bundle, a crib sheet on how to submit your application and audio discussions of some of the finer points of official policy and procedures and specific case examples from the past which will serve to help you by way of illustration. Let's go to the visa information document now.